Hello and welcome. Today we'll be doing a question from Leak Code called Non-Overlapping Intervals. It is a medium. Let's get started. Given a collection of intervals, find the minimum number of intervals you need to remove to make the rest of the intervals non-overlapping. Example 1, given the input 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 1, 3, we output 1 because 1, 3 is the only interval that needs to be removed to make the others non-overlapping. Um, here, 1, 2, and 2, 3 share a boundary, but that's okay because they're not overlapping. Example 2, given 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, we output 2. We need to remove two of the 1, 2s because they're all the same interval to get that single 1, 2 that's not overlapping. And given the input 1, 2, 2, 3, we output 0 since 1, 2, 2, 3 don't overlap. Now, this question is asking to find the minimum number of intervals we need to remove to make the rest of the intervals non-overlapping. But this is also equivalent to finding the maximum number of non-overlapping intervals. If we had the maximum there, we would automatically remove the minimum. So how do we find the most number of non-overlapping intervals from a given list of intervals? Well, what if we sorted them by start time and we removed every interval that overlapped with the earliest interval? Then we find the next earliest start time and remove anything that overlaps with that and continue through. Um, would this give us our answer? Would this approach give us the most number of non-overlapping intervals? Um, while this is a good uh, intuitive guess, this actually would not work. Uh, for example, if we had this example right here, suppose this is a number line and on this number line we have interval 1, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If we were to pick the earliest starting interval, we would have picked this top one right here and removed all the others and only be left with one interval but we wanted the maximum non-overlapping and clearly the answer should have been three, so that wouldn't work. Now, what if we take a different approach and try to find intervals that have the shortest interval? So the smallest difference between start time and end time, that way we can fit in more if we only take the smallest intervals. And, you know, of course, go ahead and remove the ones that overlap with the shortest, then take the next shortest, remove all overlaps from there. As you can see, this wouldn't work. If we had done that, we only would have been left with this interval right here because we would have removed both of these and that was not what we wanted. What if we picked um, intervals with the least amount of conflicts? So if we do that, then that means that we have to remove the least number of intervals. This answer is a little bit more nuanced, but this again fails to work as seen in this example right here. This interval overlaps with three others, this one and this one and this one, and all three of these have um, four overlaps themselves, any two of those and these two right here. This one has only two overlaps and the same scenario for this as on this side. Uh, it's just a mirror. And if we go with this approach, we would end up picking this interval first, removing this interval and this interval due to overlap, and only be allowed to pick one on each side, either this one or one of these three, ending up with only three intervals total. But we know that we should have picked the top four right here. So again, this approach does not work. But what does work is if we finish our resource the fastest to take the next interval. So what this means is if we actually see intervals that have the earliest finishing time. So instead of so sorting by start time, we sort by finishing time and take the earliest finished interval, remove all the overlapping ones, then take the second interval that finishes the earliest. This way we're freeing up our resource to make sure we can take as many intervals as possible. And this actually works because if we look over here, the earliest finishing one would be this, then this, and this, giving us our maximum number of non-overlapping intervals, three, and that means we only need to remove one interval. Same case here. 
we take this and we take this because this finishes first remove all the overlapping ones so we would have removed this and the next earliest finishing time would have been this interval and similarly we would have picked this since it finishes the first remove all overlaps remove these three take the earliest finishing time again remove overlaps earliest finish time remove overlaps earliest finish time so this is the approach that we will be taking Let's just go ahead and code this up. If you've ever taken an algorithms course, you know that this is your typical interval scheduling problem and you can actually use greedy states ahead induction to prove why using finishing times would actually give you the right answer. But I'm just gonna go ahead and code this up. So first, if intervals is empty, I'm gonna return zero since there is nothing for me to remove. If not, I'm going to go ahead and sort by finishing time. So intervals.sort. And the default sort would be to use that first value, but we want to use finishing time. So here I'm going to use key equals lambda x, where x is whatever's indexed at position 1, that second number. Now that we have our interval sorted by finishing time, I'm going to initialize remove to 0. So this is how many intervals we want to remove. And I'm going to have my initial end being intervals 0, 1. So this is my earliest finishing time. Now that I have that, I'm going to make a for loop four times in intervals. Start time is times of 0. And if this start is a less than end, I'm going to increase remove by 1. And why am I doing this? Well, if I have a finishing time, and whatever interval I'm on right now, that start time is less than that finishing time, I know that there's an overlap and I want to remove that current interval. If that is not the case, all I'm going to do is update start, because that, I mean, update end, because that would be my new earliest finishing time. So else end equals times of 1. And once this is done, all I'm going to do is remove, is return, remove. This almost works. There is one slight problem here. If I initialize end to that first interval's end time, we're going to have that first interval or interval's start time be less than end time, and we're going to have an extra remove. So I just need a time that's less than that first end time. So I'm going to make it equal to actually that start time. So it never goes into this if case and updates end time for the rest of the intervals. This should now work. I'm going to run code. It's accepted and submit. And it works. Now talking a little bit about space complexity, time complexity, this is O of n log n time because we are sorting and then we do another O of n iteration but overall this is O of n log n time wise and space wise we're just using end remove start so that is constant space O of 1. As always if you have any questions let me know hit up the comments below otherwise I'll see you next time.